so you say that you believe in God. You say that you love God above all and that you trust in Him. And you claim that you're a Christian. If you believe in God, why don't you share that belief? Because you can give someone relief. If only you told them who saved you, you could change someone's life. And you're gonna say, no Matt, I don't think I can. But what we really need is for you to make a stand. You can bring someone to God by expressing your belief, but instead you just live in grief. You're too scared to get made fun of for Jesus, so you'd rather just sit to yourself and say nothing. But you labeled yourself as something, a Christian. The definition of a Christian is someone who professes belief in Jesus as Christ, one who lives accordingly to the teachings of Jesus. If you go to church, do you even listen? Or are you there because you want to look like a good person? You just can't wait till it's over. And once you step out that seat, you might as well just hit the leap. That's not living the way God wants you to live. And yeah, you're lucky that God forgives. You say you love God above all, but really you're just a man that continues to fall. This one goes out to the people that call themselves Christian. Revelation 3.16, but since you are lukewarm water, neither hot nor cold, I will spit you out of my mouth. Don't follow halfway, you are here on display. You can stand up for Jesus, or you can stand up for yourself. But usually, it just involves you putting his book on a shelf. And you say you love God above all else, Oh, so that's why you fell into this lie. I'm just going to do all these things before I die, but not really for him, but for me. Yeah, I'm going to go out on Friday and drink and party. Live like this is the only night left I have in my life. And then on Saturday, I'm going to hook up with as many girls as I can. And I'm going to cheat, be discreet, and live a life of deceit. Because it's about what girl I could get next and which one is the best. Then I'm going to steal, lie, do whatever I can just so I can get my hands on that prize. And then I'm going to go after money and I'm going to be infatuated with it because money is security and I'd rather have money over integrity because if I have money, I'll be successful. People will see me as someone who made it because I'll have that big house and that nice car but really, the people that see you that way are blind. They are just out of their mind. Because I would rather live a life for God and make no money rather than a person who made money but didn't live a single way for God. Luckily, money doesn't matter in God's eyes. That's why you gotta keep your mind on His prize. Instead of saying, I'm gonna have pride and boast about all my accomplishments because I have so much talent, well, you didn't give yourself that talent. God gave you talent, so you give him back honor. But too many people say, no God, I'm gonna take that talent. Instead, I did it on my own. That's when talent is blown. Too many Christians forget that this life is just a test, but we are here to be our very best, and not for ourselves, but for him. And you say you trust in God? Well, let me see that trust. Tell me a time where you had to readjust. A time where that trust was a must. A time when your life was on the line and his trust was that radical sign when he was there for you. You made that leap of faith and he caught you. He brought you and taught you what faith really was. Regardless of your lack of trust, too much lust, love for pleasure, but not really love for God, neglectful belief, and not too much wine to spread seeds. And the crazy thing is, he still loves you for who you are and where you are right now. Knowing that you may not ever love him. And yes, this one goes out to the people that call themselves Christians but don't really know what it means to be one. He will save us because we believe in him as Christ. But don't you think we should live for him more in our life? You see, I never understood the people that say they believe in God, but never really put Him first. If they only actually believed. They know He exists, 
but they don't put him first. That's unbelievable. To me, that's inconceivable. You know about the God of the universe, the God who created this earth, the God who gave us worth, but instead you worship created things rather than the creator. I don't understand. Why don't you put him first? Because he could take you places beyond this earth. And this life is a gift. And I'm not taking this gift from God without giving him something in return. I want to show him that I'm here to learn. I want him to know that I'm here to make a difference. I'm here to spread truth. I want to inspire the youth. Don't waste opportunities to pray. Don't waste opportunities to make his day. For we are here to live a life for Jesus. Not for ourselves, but for him. And too many Christians just get caught up in sin. Remember who put you here. Remember what he did. Remember that he loves you, plus forgives.